Hey guys, uh, I'm Lenny and today I'd like to share a problem I encountered today um, regarding string and strings and performance. I'm gonna create a test method real quick which will uh, concat strings. And I'm concatting strings like this or using the concat uh, method is apparently a bad practice and I'm gonna show you why. I'm gonna create another method well at first I can um, profile this to show you how it looks like all right um Apparently it needed a lot of uh, memory. Wow, that's really a lot. And it also consumed um, quite a lot of time. I haven't measured the time. I think I need to run the other profiling option. Um, it's like 800. Yeah, 800. And it took like 1.3 um, milliseconds only. Um, at work it took me 7.5. <laughs> so um, to show you how bad this is, I'm gonna create another test, and I'm gonna show you how to do do this correctly. Um, you just use string builder and append the string. After that, I'm gonna explain uh, why this method is uh, better and how much better. Um, well, that you can see that um, in a few minutes, moments. Let's run the first profiler again. I'm not sure about the memory though. All right. Wow. Really? It was that fast? So it took only um 11 megabytes instead of 800. That's kind of strange. It's quite a big difference. Yes, I want to save it. Let's try it out again just to be safe that we have selected the right option. I think I should um, use the other option. But hey, uh, used memory, um, that's a lot of memory. And when I go back to the string builder, quite a big difference and um, regarding the speed um, the difference is uh, a little bit bigger well it seemed bigger um, when I was at work I'm gonna run the profiler on CPU mm. 
yeah you can see it's 9 milliseconds instead of um, 1 second 70 700 whatever so um, if you're gonna get the uh, strings in a loop use string builder as it really is performance saver life saver definitely um, and the reason is that every time you gonna get a uh, string like this it creates like another instance um, of the string which uh, includes the previous string and uh, well which includes both the previous plus this um, but this way you create a ton of objects you don't need and the garbage collector has to clean them up so um, yeah this is the best way to save time and performance I hope this uh, helps someone um, I myself encountered it today at work and this um, strategy really helped me to boost the performance of the application I'm working on alright um, see ya guys